Hey, hey, hey. Good morning. Good afternoon, wherever you're from. Right here, it's 12 noon straight up. Hey, everybody. Harry Newhand here with Sales Pros. Closing more sales. Thank you for joining me today. Hope you're all having a great day so far and more to come. I want to welcome all the new folks to the group here today. We had several join this week. Quite a few joined in the last couple months. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. And I look forward to uh, having an opportunity to meet each of you individually. Feel free to reach out to me um, in, uh, in chat. Send me, a, send me a DM in chat. But this group here, just to kind of recap, if you didn't read the description, this group is designed to help you um, build the strategies and tactics to close more sales, to get better at sales skills. Sales skills, um, it's it's a, uh, a learned thing. You, you can learn to get better and better and better at every aspect of the sales process, from prospecting to, to uh, setting appointments to building trust and rapport to closing more deals. And that's what, that's what this group is for, is to give you the knowledge that I've acquired over the last 30 plus years and having the, the tremendous blessing of teaching uh, several dozens of people how to build sales organizations and sell more. And, uh, and, and earn millions of dollars in the process. <laughs> and many of them are continuing today to have a ripple effect in, in earning millions of dollars. So it's exciting to be able to share with, with folks that are interested in, in getting better at what they do. So remember, sales is a learned skill. And the, better you, the more you learn, the better you get. And I'm always learning. I've got coaches that I work with that, that teach me to get better and better. And, and uh, it's awesome because it, with technology today and the way we communicate today, uh, things change. You know, the basics don't change, but the audience, the technology, and the process does change. So let's get into it. We're in the middle of a series here. Today's week five, and we're talking about confidence. And um, good morning, Dallas. Thanks for joining us today. Um, and we're talking about confidence. And confidence certainly does come with experience. <laughs> but what I found is confidence can be one of the number one reasons why you may be leaving money on the table why you may be able, by having less of an impact by helping people get what they need and what they want. Uh, it's not all about money, it's about impact. If somebody comes to you, somebody needs something that you offer, it's a question of doing them a service and getting them, find, leading them and guiding them to get that product or service that you offer. And that's really what it's all about, what kind of impact can we have? And to get impact, confidence is definitely a key thing. Now, one of the things, if, you, if you're short on confidence or lack a little bit of confidence, know for sure that confidence does come with experience. That, that's, that, that will happen. But there is a way to speed it up. There is a way to increase your confidence along the way to making it a habit, to making it part of your personality. One of them that helped me is make a list. Make a list of things that you do that help build your confidence things that you listen to, things that you read, people that you talk to and associate with, places that you go, do you get more confident around certain people? And now here's the other part of it. Make a list also of what takes your confidence away. Are there people in your life that you communicate with that chip away at your confidence, that that down talk you, that, that don't believe in you, that don't have don't encourage you? So who are you listening to? What are you reading? What activities do you do? Now, winning, when we win at something, that builds our confidence. So, and, and everything helps. Every, everything counts. So count the small wins, because small wins, they matter. And whatever that small win is, if you made an amazing breakfast and nothing went wrong, if you did a job today and nothing went wrong, if you had a great meditation session, a great exercise session, if that would, that's a win. And you know, count those wins because they build, they build up. So here's the thing. You make a list of the things that build your confidence, the things that, that take away, chip away at your confidence, that affect it. Again, people that you know, people that you work with, people that you live with, you know, they, are, they, are they a positive influence? Um, and are they a negative influence? Do they have faith and confidence in you and your ability to, to do what you need to do? So these are, these are important things. Now, here's, here's the key, is gradually start doing more of the things that build your confidence. For me, one of the things that helped me is I used to, before I, 
uh, when I was going door to door and building a sales team, which turned out to be one of the largest producing door to door sales teams in the country, um, and production wise, and what I used to do is I didn't like going door to door, but I knew if I got out of the car, I'd be fine. Getting out of the car was the hardest part for me. So what I did is I put on a very motivating, pumped up rock and roll song. For me, th that particular song was one of Journey's songs, and only only the young, and that really helped me get my get my my excitement going. I liked the words, I liked the tune, like the you know the lyrics and the way it was presented, and it was upbeat. So that got me going and got me out of the car. And so many times, uh, I just listened to more things like that to get me get me motivated, get me going, get me started. So what is it that, that gets you going? What activities, what songs, again, who are you listening to, who are you talking to? The other thing that helped me is I realized, who could I help? Who could I help? Because when I help somebody, it builds my confidence, whatever it is. You know, if I meet somebody on the street, you know, give them a few bucks to, if, they're, if they're asking for, for food or asking them money, you know, give them a few bucks or, or buy them some food or water, whatever it is. And that really helped build my confidence. So I looked at who I could help, what I could do, is there anything I could do in the first place? Sometimes I was broke and I couldn't, but you know, just talking to them, treating them like a real person helped me because I know it helped them and they told me so. So again, small things matter. Everything counts, so add them up, stack them up. If you wanna go faster, make that list. Now, do you have a favorite book or favorite phrase? You know, For me, I read certain passages in the, um, in the scripture that helped me. I read them over and over and over again because they helped me get, get motivated and get me fired up and going. Now here's the thing, making a list is easy to do, but you say, Harry, you know, I, you know I'm, all, I'm done with lists. I really don't wanna make lists. Well, that's the thing, it's easy not to do. If you wanna build your confidence, do the things that will help you, that do build your confidence, do more of them and things that don't build your confidence, that chip away, pull back. Again, could be people, could be people. Tony Robbins said, and here's why it's so important. Tony Robbins says that in a conversation, the person that's the most confident usually gets the other person to see their way. So if you're in a sales conversation with maximum confidence, chances are higher opportunities will come to you of, of making that sale, helping that client see what you see. So here's another thing that really helped me. One of my early mentors, John Peterson, he shared with me, he said, sometimes it's the way you walk. Sometimes it's the way you dress. Sometimes it's the way you stand. Are you standing with confidence or are you slunched over? Are you sitting or, or communicating with confidence? Sometimes it's inflections and, you know, with the hands and, and, and just the way you're communicating. Are you dressing for success? Are you dressing to build your confidence? What makes you confident? It could be jeans and a t-shirt. It could be shorts and a t-shirt. What, what makes you confident when you go into a conversation or go into a sales presentation? Is it a suit and tie? Or what, whatever it is. So whatever that confidence is, it could be as simple as, as that. If those are the things that build your confidence, do more of them. Do it more often. And again, take away the things that aren't. So confidence is, in my opinion, is one of the most important pieces to increasing your sales. Now for me, it took years to build my confidence. You know, coming from the restaurant business, flipping hamburgers at Big Boy, you know, you know I, I got into sales part-time for a year and a half, and then and the next half a year was a struggle. After I quit the full-time job, the money wasn't coming in, I put myself in a box where I had to perform. And so that's where I started building my confidence, learning these little things that really helped me. And over time, it made a major impact. And now it helps me when I communicate with my clients, my, my, uh, my friends. So hopefully this helps you. It's number five is confidence. Of course, we did talk about, uh, let's see, number one was character, number two is credibility, number three is commitment, number four was certainty, number five is confidence. We've got five more to go. Uh, the 10 words that start with a C that I believe create maximum success in your business and gives people the opportunity to hit maximum success. So. Confidence is number five. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got some value out of it. Let me know. And then uh, next week we'll do number six. Have a great day, everybody. Talk to you then.